Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So today we are going to see how to add an Excel spreadsheet to a page in Microsoft OneNote. Uh, so there are three ways to do this. The first is to attach an Excel file. The second is to embed a static image of the spreadsheet. And the third is to create a new spreadsheet. So let's explore the first option, how to attach an Excel file. To do that, you have to go to insert tab and here you can see spreadsheet. If we click on that, we get further two options, existing Excel spreadsheet and new Excel spreadsheet. Click on existing Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to select the spreadsheet and click on insert. Now again, you can see uh, attach file, insert spreadsheet and insert a chart or table. So you have to click on attach file. Now you can see an icon has been added of the attached file. So if you want to open this file, you have to double click on the icon. Okay. Uh, so I can see my spreadsheet over here. So now let's explore the second option. How to embed a static image of the spreadsheet. To do that, again, you have to uh, go to insert tab, then click on spreadsheet, then click on existing Excel spreadsheet. Select this, click on insert. And now you have to select the second option that says insert spreadsheet. So here, a static image of the spreadsheet has been embedded in my Microsoft OneNote page. Okay. Now, uh, in case you don't want to add an existing spreadsheet, uh, you want to insert some new data. So in that case, if you wish to create a new spreadsheet, then even that is possible. So you can create an entirely new Microsoft Excel spreadsheet into a Microsoft OneNote page. So to do that, you have to go into spreadsheet again and now, this time click on new Excel spreadsheet. So a basic spreadsheet has been added and now to edit this, you just have to click on edit here. Okay. Uh, now let's insert uh, some data. Let's type in ASAP and let's save the spreadsheet. And let's see. So my spreadsheet has been edited successfully. So in this way you can create a new spreadsheet in OneNote as well. So I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to check out our Microsoft OneNote playlist where we have discussed some more useful features. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.